Oh, it's here. It's here, it's here. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. It's here. Oh, don't roll an ankle. kid to candy store right now. Well, if you were wondering what is in this box, we're gonna to get to that in just a second. I sold my Skydio 2 drone, the one that kind of follows you around, and I had to get a replacement. I wanted another drone, and this is this is that. This, this is the drone. So I'm super excited. I ordered this just like Saturday or Sunday, and today's Wednesday. Super quick, uh, yeah, today's Wednesday. Super quick delivery, and I'm excited. So yeah, let's get into this box and take a look here. Get the old trusty knife. All right, well, if you're wondering, this is it right here. Ooh! <laughs> this is it right here, the DJI Avada. This is an FPV drone, so totally different than the other thing I had. This cannot follow me whatsoever, but I can get some really amazing shots once I learn how to fly it because it is completely different. So I'm gonna be spending several hours on the simulator trying to learn how to fly this bad boy. And with it, I also have the DJI controller, the FPV controller 2 here, got that as well. And I also bought another battery right here because you can't just have one battery because these things only fly like eight to 10 minutes maybe. So you gotta have two batteries. So gotta learn how to fly with these goggles. This is the uh, DJI goggles 2, the pro, what do they call the motion controller? And then of course the drone itself. Let's take a look at this box. That make these things hard to get into. Oh, it's a sleeve. So I did purchase a refurbished unit because I didn't want to spend the full money on one, but it was still very expensive, like much more expensive than my previous drone. But anyway, uh, you know, DJI recertifies everything. I still get the full DJI refresh warranty I bought with it for two years work. So should be fine. Let's get this thing open here. If I can figure out how to open it. It's a pull tab. All right, well, let's take a look here. Let's open this up. Okay, well, there it is. That little guy there is the DJI Avata. Avata, super small drone. I uh, cannot wait to learn how to fly this. I'm not even gonna try to fly it without getting in the simulator because all the videos I've seen, I will totally crash this. This is crazy experience. And inside we got an extra prop or two, I think it is the battery for the goggles. Oh, no, this is the charger. Yeah, charger and a charging cable. Well, those are small and lightweight, which is awesome. Okay, so here are the goggles. This is what I wear like this while I fly the drone, which is crazy. Let's take that guy out of there. Man, I cannot wait. It's okay, just a cover. Antennas pop up there, got that. Looks like a little fly, a little bug as I'm flying it. Super cool. The strap is in here to get the strap around it and hook to your head so it doesn't fall off your head. The battery right here. Another ca uh, cable, and this is the motion controller. So you're supposed to be able to fly this thing either with the uh, remote, which I bought, which is not included in the kit, uh, but it comes with this. This is the motion controller. You're supposed to like, it's intuitive. You push this trigger down to go faster, uh, let it up to slow down. You turn this way to turn and it's, yeah, it's all, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. But I'm really, think I'm gonna be going with this guy because this is much more precise. You stay there, let's put this stuff back a little bit so I can do the rest of the video. The rest of the video here. All right, well now that we opened up the DJI Avada, which hopefully in a little while you will see some cool footage on the channel. Little update on my ankle, it's doing pretty well. I've actually run three times. I ran Sunday, then I ran Monday and Tuesday, yesterday, today is Wednesday. I am taking today as a rest day because I think I might've overdid it yesterday. Yesterday was the first time on the rolled ankle that I've gone uh, outside. So with a little bit of elevation and downhill, just normal, my normal stuff, about 400 feet of elevation change. I don't know if that was it or, or what, but I was feeling a little bit of uh, discomfort and pain in that ankle. So I wanted to take a little bit of a, a little bit of a breather today and let it rest a bit more. But in that running, oh, I did wear the Puma Forever Run Nitro here, uh, first three runs in these here. So far I've liked them quite a bit. 
I did also get more shoes from Puma. Let me show you guys. I also got these here. These are the uh, Puma Deviate Nitro 2s. This has the carbon plate in there. So excited to test those guys out. Stay tuned. Lots of running will be happening uh, once I get healed more and can do that, but uh, lots of reviews will be coming on the channel. And then I also got a pair of trail runners from Puma. These are the Fast Track Nitro right here. Uh, and so this is, I think their first trail shoe, honestly. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of grip there, nothing, nothing crazy aggressive. But um, yeah, I'm curious to get out and try these guys. They, they feel kind of lightweight and should be a good time to, a good, good fun shoe to run in. But that's not it. I also got, it's like when you get injured, my goodness, all the shoes show up for review. I also got the Hoka Rocket X2s into review, which I'm super excited for these guys. I ran my first marathon in the Rocket X. Absolutely love those shoes. These feel so much better. Like this midsole here feels incredible. Like I, I cannot wait to get these out to test. You can see the plate in the bottom there, right in that little window. So excited for those, but that's also not it. I also got these guys from Saucony. These are the Saucony Convara 14s right here. So excited to test these. I had the Convara 14, uh, 13s and I liked those. It's a very no frills, bare bones kind of shoe, but they've increased the sack height of this midsole foam, which is great. And it's just super lightweight, crazy breathable. I think these are gonna be really fun to run in as well, the Convara 14. But as the uh, saying has gone, it will go more. That's not it. <laughs> and I also got these guys right here. These are the Saucony Peregrine 13 STs, the sloppy terrain, soft terrain. They have like this little neoprene booty. It goes all the way inside. Uh, crazy grip on the bottom, like six millimeter lugs, I believe. Uh, just, yeah, I didn't, I, I gotta be honest with you, I was not too pleased with the Peregrine. I think it was the 11 STs. Uh, I, the, just, the grip was phenomenal in mud and like snow, but if you stepped on any sort of like hard surface, like rock, pressure treated wood, you better be like crawling because it was like ice skates. So hopefully these will be better, but I'm excited for those. And now that is it <laughs> so far, but I did just get a uh, email from Solomon but I've got three shoes, I think three pairs of shoes from Solomon on the way. So that'll be nine pairs of shoes to test with a bum ankle. So I got to get healed and get running to get testing all these for you guys and get these review videos out so you can uh, learn about the shoes and maybe go pick up a pair yourself. That is, that is the mail call for uh, today and the last week I got those shoes in. Super excited about this uh, drone here. I cannot wait. I'm actually going to go probably jump in the simulator right now almost and get flying. Super excited to learn that. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for all the cool stuff coming on the channel. And I think I have one more of these hats for sale. So if you are interested, look below in the description, go get it quickly, cause last one, last one, get the last hat out there. But that's gonna do it today. I hope to Saturday get out and actually do a little bit of a run. Hopefully, not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to stay off the trails for a little while with the ankle. I've gotta build the proprioception back, get it healed better. I am doing my functional movement th uh, therapy with uh, at my chiropractic clinic. So I've got that twice a week. I'm also doing, trying to every night uh, stand on my, one of my, um, I, got, I, got, I, have a, I have a PT center basically in my house, but I brought one of the Dynadisc type balance things upstairs and I'm trying to do that at night, like watching TV with my wife, standing on that, doing some squats, single leg, trying to build that strength up, get that ankle ready to go. And I think that, uh, I think the laser therapy really did help because um, I ran Sunday, so that was eight days after I rolled it, and it was a pretty serious roll. Um, I felt that pop in it. It was, a, it was a pretty bad roll. I still have some bruising in the bottom of the foot, I can see, but uh, it's been okay, so I don't know. Maybe that laser therapy helped. I've also been taking creatine for a while. Not like, I'm not trying to get swole and bulked up, but there's a lot of science out there that I've seen recently where uh, it, it basically lubricates everything in your body and it helps your ligaments, your tendons, all of those things to be maybe a little bit more flexible, a little bit more stretchy to where they don't break or snap. Uh, that's what the science says. And so I've been taking it for a while. Maybe that was the case on the ankle roll. Maybe that creatine might've saved me from ripping something or tearing something and it just stretched it out a lot. So now it has to kind of come back to normal elasticity, I guess. I don't know. It's science. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you all so much. Thank you to Puma, Hoka, and Saucony. 
and Solomon for the shoes coming. Uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the, uh, the shoes to test. Stay tuned, lots coming. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.